Check it out. Kicking it with the PS2 and Type 2 Legends. The uh, arcade company. Type 2? Type 2. Type 2. Well, you guys will figure it out. This is the uh, same company who brought you, of course, by the little dude right there, Space Invaders! So let's see what we got here. I had to uh, pay 20 bucks for this. Not bad. So we got Battle Shark, 1989. I, I remember seeing it in the arcade. Friends of mine played it. I just never got into it. But I'll check it out here. I, you know what? I'll bring you back to the end of the video and let you see what we're talking about. Just kind of, it's a weird game. And we got Bubble Bobble, 1986. That, that was a game I saw. Didn't play much, but friends did. Never seen that one before. Continental Circuit. That's a racing game. I play a lot of racing games, so I'll probably play it and remember it. Electric Yo-Yo. Now, I remember it's the 82. I remember Electric Boogaloo being big, but not, I don't remember this game. Elevator Action. Now I'm just thinking about Aerosmith. This came out in 83, and Love and Elevator came out now. It doesn't match up. But anyway, I'll check it out. don't remember it. And another game I don't fucking know. Are you kidding me? Really? I guess some of you guys are out there going, Great Swordsman Rules! But I don't, I don't remember this game. I don't remember those other games. So I'll just check it out. They're probably like little gems. Alright, now we're fucking talking here. Jungle Hunt. I love this game. Let's hop in here real quick. Check it out. This is the, uh, of course, arcade version. Now, um... If you saw my review on the um, ColecoVision flashback system, it looks just like this. The only thing is that the arcade version is more detailed, as you can tell. Um, ColecoVision gave it a good college try, but um, yeah, it just it wasn't the same. But it, it played the same, though. It did play the same. All right. Not really trying to play a video game here, just trying to show you what's on here, so. Little samples, as we call it. Alright. Oh, fuck. The New Zealand story, never heard of it. The Ninja Kids, 1990. Now, I remember the three Ninja Kids, 80s, but not that one, so. Anyway, I gotta I got check out and see what it's like. Operation Thunderbolt. Now, that's badass. Reminds me of a James Bond flick. Of course, this is 1988. Gulf War. Looks like a war film. Well, war game, so... I'll check it out and see what it's like. Operation Wolf, 87. Another, another war game. Oh, hell yeah, Phoenix. I love this game. Let's pop in. I used to play this a lot. I gotta put a quarter in. It's kind of cool how it makes you put a quarter and then hit one person. I'm not going to try to play this one-handed in the videotape. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Definitely coming back. Love this game. Alright, moving on. And it's loading. And here we go again. Pilot can never heard of that. Never played it. Pump, pump, pump. Pump, pump. What the fuck? Oh, God. Rainbow Islands. Shit. Oh, come on for love. Okay, here we go. This is Return of the Invaders. This is the third version of Space Invaders, and I'll go into that in a second. Space Gun was cool. Uh, I played a little bit of it. Looking forward to checking it out again. Alright, here we are. This is what I'm talking about. This is the video game that the very first one I played. My dad was at Sears. He um, 
basically had, you know, was getting something done, I think tires or something, because he was a good mechanic. And uh, this was the very first game I played. And it was game over after that. I was just noticing here. Look at this. Interview with the designer. <laughs> nice. Well, how badass was that? I like these games where you have hidden stuff. Or not hidden, but bonus little, little gems. Alright, got, gotta just check it out. Put my quarter in. <laughs> Try this one handed again. Oh. Just like when I was a kid. Okay. Definitely coming back. For the money I paid for this game, this one game right here was just well worth it. It's just... Well, it's your first... When You, you remember your first video game. Alright, and Space Invaders 2 came out in the 80s, or 1980, and uh, it, it was just like Space Invaders, but color. Um, remind me, like, a lot of Atari color, you know? I'm trying to be like the Atari. But, uh, I always played the original. If this was sitting next to the original, I was playing the original. I would only play this if, uh, I, I didn't have the original play. Kind of see what I say about how it looks like Atari and the colorfulness. Okay. Mm hmm. Alright, super quick. I uh, kind of remember that. Thunder Fox, nope. Jeez. Okay, here we go. 1993 2 bit. I remember it being a corpus playing this, and you were a dude on this little inner tube, and you just gotta get to safety. Cool game. 
I don't remember this one. And definitely not that one. Alright, so let's go back here to that third Space Invaders game I was talking about. There you go. Return of the Invaders. And basically, this game to me was weird. I mean, it, w it was kind of like Space Invaders, but it wasn't. Kind of like Galaga a little bit. And, and it's just weird, you know? My friends would just sit there in one spot like this and just shoot. And that's all you do. I'm doing it now. I mean, that's all he would do, seriously. And eventually go to like a challenge stage. There you go. And then now you just fight this other thing. So, that, that was it. That, that was a really, like I said, weird space video your game. Played it only out of curiosity, but now you know I own it. I'll play it more probably. Probably played the original <laughs> way more. All right. Now before I let you guys go, we can go back to that one game that we start off with here. Battle Shark. Remember I was telling you guys about this. Okay. So for those who don't know about Battle Shark, well. It, it pretty much speaks for itself. Um, like I said, my friends played it. I watched them play it. Now that I own it, I'll probably play it. But it, just, it was just a weird game to me. I thought that was Charles Bronson. <laughs> and yes, so here you're battling sh shooter sharks. And it's like a 3D shooter game. Like I said, my friends were playing it because it looked cool. It was freaky to me. <laughs> Alright. Gonna kick it 80 style retro video game. <laughs> Check you guys later. Gamer for life. Layers. 